Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle Eberlein, and what I want to talk about today is uh, periodontal disease and the different stages of that. Um, I have many patients that come in for consults or second opinions uh, concerned about their gums. Uh, usually they have uh, bleeding gums or a foul odor or they have tartar buildup uh, or they've been to some place that they've said they've had all that but they don't understand why they do. So what I want to do is I, wanna, I brought a little model here to go over the different stages so that that way if anybody has told you you have gum disease you will understand on what they're talking about. Um, if you look at the top picture, typically what we do as a dentist is we measure the little uh, pocket depths or sulcuses around each tooth with a little probe. And normally uh, a healthy uh, gum will have about a one to three millimeter pocket and it doesn't bleed and it's pink and stippled and, and it looks healthy. And when we take x-rays, we look at it and we look at the height of bone. Is the bone normal around the tooth? And that's what we call healthy dentition and a healthy periodontium, so healthy teeth and gums. Um, a lot of people come in and they have gingivitis. And a lot of people are, don't really understand what that means. Well, that's an inflammation of your gums. Uh, that's what that bleeding and swelling that you have is. The thing about gingivitis is that it's reversible. So, so with just good brushing and flossing and seeing your health care provider with a, with a dental cleaning, you can basically reverse all that. And what this uh, picture here is demonstrates that typically people with gingivitis may have three, four millimeter pockets, but they don't have any bone loss. Okay, so that's what makes it reversible. And of course, uh, you can look at these pictures here and you can look at yourself and you can see um, maybe a reflection on where you're at uh, according to those pictures. Now, typically gum disease is, has uh, three stages in it. It has a mild, a moderate, and severe. Um, a mild amount, uh, a mild periodontal disease is somebody that comes in with um, four, five millimeter pockets around their teeth and typically their x-rays are showing that they're losing a little bit of bone around the teeth. Um, we usually treat that very conservatively. Now, if uh, somebody comes in with that and they don't get that treated, then what happens is those pockets will continue to get deeper. They'll lose bone and they'll show it on their x-rays where they're starting to lose bone from up here, way down here and even down uh, between the roots of the teeth. So this person down here has a moderate amount of gum disease. Uh, somebody that has severe gum disease will put that little probe and it will probe all the way down and sometimes to the very end of the tooth. And on their x-rays it can show a severe amount of um, bone loss around the teeth. Normally people that have gum disease, if you catch it in time, it can be treated with, a, with what we call a soft tissue management program. And that's where you come in and see the hygienist and they use some fine instruments to clean the tartar and infection and debris around the roots of the teeth right in here and it's a very conservative approach. We'll use some medicaments that will help desensitize the teeth or that will eliminate bacteria through some localized antibiotics and the success rate is, is very very high on stuff like that. Um, somebody that has moderate amount a lot of times we'll have to send them to a specialist because they've already waited too long for a conservative treatment and they may need for us to put some bone back around their teeth in order to have optimum health. Um, if you're a person that has severe gum disease, most likely you may end up having to have those teeth removed in order to eliminate that disease. Now, why do you want to treat gum disease? Well, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious that gum disease affects your whole mouth, but it also affects your whole body. Um, we all know the studies that today show that gum disease is linked to heart disease, to higher incidence of stroke, to higher incidence of pancreatic cancer. Um, th there's a whole array of illnesses that really infect uh, from your mouth to your whole body. 
So we know through studies that if you can treat your gum problems, you're not just helping your teeth, you're helping your whole body. Um, I hope that this explains a little bit about what gum disease is, but it, uh, if you have a concern or if you feel like you have something like this going on, um, please call the number at the, the bottom of the screen.